The eggs of trout, grayling and salmon require a constant supply of cool, oxygen-rich water in order to survive. Hatching is a gruelling process, as you can see from the rapidly beating heart of this young fish. The young trout spend many months in the gaps between gravel grains, even after they have hatched out from their egg. It's only when the yolk sac has been completely absorbed that they swim up into open water. In summer, this is a dense clump of Himalayan balsam and Japanese knotweed. Now, in winter, the invasive plants have died back to leave bare earth. Rain that falls on this loose soil quickly turns into fine mud. And then streams down riverbanks. before being washed into the river itself. After the floodwaters pass away, the mud settles on the stream bed. When too much mud washes in from eroding banks, it can bury spawning gravels. When we realise this, the suffocating effect on eggs and young fish is all too obvious. Strangely, we anglers don't often get upset by large clumps of invasive plant species yet we're up in arms if we discover poachers killing trout from our rivers. Perhaps it is because netting and killing fish to eat is much easier to visualise than a slow, invisible suffocation beneath the river bed. <laughs>